On the Texas border tonight, the migrants, the vast majority from Haiti, are now gone. The Biden administration saying 2,000 were sent back to Haiti. Others allowed to stay in the U.S. for now. And our Rachel Scott asking President Biden today about those images of some border officers, images the White House had already called horrific, and what the president said today. Tonight, thousands of migrants cleared out from this underpass in Del Rio, Texas. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas revealing 30,000 tried to cross the border through this city in just the past two weeks. More than 17,000 remain in the country. Many will have their asylum cases heard before immigration judges. And today, for the first time, President Biden addressing these images. Border Patrol agents on horseback trying to stop migrants. Do you take responsibility for the chaos that's unfolding? Of course I take responsibility. I'm president, but it was horrible what to see, as you saw. To see people treated like they did, horses barely running them over, people being strapped, it's outrageous. I promise you those people will pay. But the Homeland Security Secretary saying he will wait for an investigation to play out. The president was really clear today. He said those Border Patrol agents on horseback seen in those images will pay. So do you disagree with that? Oh, no. Um, I, I know the president was echoing the sentiments of the American public, but I want to speak to the fact that this in investigation will be based on the facts that the investigators um, learn, and the results of the investigation will be driven by those facts. So let's get to Rachel Scott live at the White House tonight because, Rachel, on the other story you've been reporting on all week here, the two infrastructure bills, of course, one of them is bipartisan, the other much costlier uh, on so-called human infrastructure. Will there be votes in the House on both next week? Where does it stand? Yes, David, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she plans to bring the bipartisan infrastructure bill to the floor for a vote on Monday. And then later in the week, she plans to bring that much larger economic package that includes everything for funding for child care to climate change to the floor for a vote as well. Progressives and moderates still at odds on the total cost of that bill, and they have little time to resolve those issues, David. You'll stay on it. Thank you, Rachel. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.